YouTuber Dominic reveals his baby mama has been abusing him for four years. Mm. Um, of course, this is sad, but I'm glad that he is speaking up because too many men will not. And that mark is horrible. What kind of rubbish <clears throat> is that? First of all, it's like the same vibe I have mm -hmm. for a woman. What are you doing there for four years? What are you actually doing there that long? This lady... <laughs> I don't use the word demonic because it's like I'm far fetched. But for someone to do this mm -hmm. to some, like someone else, and be doing it consistently, and you have a child, and like, what kind of environment are you creating for your home? Like, I can't just imagine what it would be like for him in those four years going back home, knowing that he could be abused. I've noticed this conversation a lot, and it, unfortunately, it happens with good men where they feel like um, I'm not supposed to respond. I'm not supposed to hit a woman. I'm not, I'm not going to touch her. But I think sometimes... And I have to be there to, to protect yes, my family. Yeah, and I, I think sometimes um, it's not the right way to handle um, abuse. Mm. Because, I'm, honestly speaking, I don't care which gender is doing it. The response should stay the same. You don't allow it. You don't promote it. A lot of the people feel like... I feel like the men want to stay a bit longer than they should. I think they, they have almost minimized it in their head that because it's a woman that's hurting them, it's almost allowed. Like, they tolerate it to another level that I'm not really... I'm not, I, would, I think I it's say, I would say, I would say we I tolerate so. it. I would rather say uh, we're ashamed mm. because of the patriarchal society. You are supposed to be the man. Mm. You know, they've been you know, embedded that in our brains since we were mm. kids. You show no weakness. You can't cry. You can't show emotions. No, well, sorry to cut you. But I think that part of it in talking about what the society has said is what make them, what will make them not talk about it in public. Mm. But why are, are you, you still there? Because most of the time when this happens, being a victim myself, you would want to have a conversation with the person involved. And you know how women can be very soft, especially when they actually know that they are doing wrong, but sometimes they can't help it. You don't think because it has anything to do with the fact that you've minimized the assault? Because if a man did that... If yeah, you were neighbors, you the table. and let's say you were living together, you were neighbors, and your, your housemate did that to you, would you be as tolerant? Or are you as tolerant because it's a woman that's doing that? I think it also goes back to the conversation that will usually come up about domestic violence when people are trying to analyze men that do it and their modus operandi. I will tell you, they actually start with the mindset. Mm. And once they can actually have your mindset in a particular place where you feel like you, you cannot live without mm. them or you need them well, or you where? love them so much mm. or you're too attached, then anything can be done to you. And you're also wondering, do I really want to leave this relationship to start all over again? So I think it's the same thing for both genders. It's just, like I said, it's sad that we don't, men don't speak up and I'm hoping that more men will speak up and mm -hmm. also be able to get up and walk out from situations like this because <laughs> that mark is serious. It is. Well, what, what I just want is to let a lot of people know that as men, it's okay. It's okay for you to actually speak up about this type of mm. things because a lot of men feel like, oh, the moment they say that they look weak, they look like they're not man enough and stuff. It doesn't mean everyone is human and then people look and say, oh, because she's smaller, how can she be the one to do? But if you have... Well, that picture I saw, she's bigger. Oh, she, she is. is. Well, maybe the picture will call just... <laughs> But, moving on, but it's if you size. are a man and you're in an abusive relationship, like a woman, That's you a have picture. the right to speak. You have... It's taller. <laughs> She's bigger. Mm -hmm. You have a right to speak. You have the right to let the world know what you're going through, like every man. And then I think um, the same way we have domestic violence hotlines for women, I think that should be provided for men Of as course. Well. No, is the, is the, are the hotlines exclusively no, for women? No, for women. it's for anyone. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so so men. What we need to work on is our perception to us, of when yeah. a man comes out talk about this. Just imagine this guy calling a police station in Nigeria, mm. we are still battling them women. even accepting women. women. Do you understand? So we need they to work on that already. as well. They, to and they need to train. We need mm. to train our, our, our first responders, whatever they are yeah. called, in any sector from the NGOs. Don't be surprised that maybe their first instincts might also be to laugh before they get themselves back and like, mm. okay, no, we're not supposed to treat, be like this. Mm. So we need to unlearn some things. And, and maybe this is also a good a good well. space for men to also get up and do for themselves. Because at the end of the day, we can't all speak the same language. Mm -hmm. um, if 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 it's different for the way a man is 
a man is raised and his work or whatever, then there should be men who can also create a, a, a safe environment for men to go to. Mm. Maybe they don't feel comfortable with... Because I feel like attention sometimes needs to be specific and intentional. Yeah. And maybe the women, women organizations can't do that because mm. the trauma is different, the, mm. the, the approach is different. And when you get there, you might just see more and women and you men, feel men, some men, type of way. You need to be understood. Yeah, you need well. a place that, that feels safe, that your ego isn't like... And I'm sure it, I'm even sure there'll be some women in the NGO, in NGO department, like you said, that could even mock the situation yeah. or minimize mm. it. So it would be nice if someone could, could do that for men. Okay. Do you want to say one last word? Um, no, it's fine. <laughs> men, just speak up. Okay, cool. And please leave um, when it's life-threatening. I mean, it doesn't even need to wait for until it's life-threatening. Life because yeah. one slap, I've died, though. But anyway, that's it's true. We... Actually, some someone was saying that it's not enough for the guy to leave because people were like, someone was saying that if it was a woman, and they'll ask you to leave. So I'm asking you to leave as well. It's like, no, it's a man, so it's not enough reason. I think it's enough reason actually. Mm. It is enough reason. And a lot of women, I, I checked the comment section. Some women are even asking, do women abuse men? Like it's of, shocking oh, to me to be honest, right. but I know they do. Mm -hmm. they do. Yeah. And, be, and sometimes it's not because they actually want it, it's because they know that they the can, get away, they can get away with it. You can't mm. talk mm. about it. And the moment you try to retaliate, the tables yeah. will turn mm. on the guy. So. Mm. I know a friend that w was in the same situation where the guy actually, the lady used to actually abuse him. And then when he finally decided that, okay, I'm not doing it, I want to break up, she went on Twitter and said she was a rapist and he was an abuser. They're wow. crazy.